Hi everybody, it's Cynthia and today I'm here to talk to you about a new online tool called DrumUp. Uh, well, it's new to me. I don't know how new it is online, but I think it's um, still in beta actually and I believe that it will be a paid service in the future, but um, right now they're letting a few people use it on beta to see if they like it. So I thought I'd try it out because I do an awful lot of work in social media, not just for myself, but for clients. So first of all, what DrumUp is, is a way of automatically feeding information into your Twitter or Facebook account, Facebook page. We're going to talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Um, but what it does is it automatically feeds information that's supposedly relevant to you and your readers so you don't have to do it. Uh, it is a shortcut to keeping your social media looking active. And that really is the secret we know to social media is you have to look like you're in there, even if you're not. So you can pre-schedule and do all kinds of things. Um, use something like Buffer or Hootsuite to pre-schedule. But even those require you to actually come up with the ideas. So what this does is it shortcuts by searching for ideas for you and then posting them. Now, um, there's good and bad about this. What I like about it is that it does help you save time and um, especially if you're not really adept at web searching, because it goes out and it looks for ideas for you. And it comes up with some pretty good articles. And I don't know, I can't tell if it's picking articles based on my travels on the internet, because it did pick a few places that I do visit frequently, but I did clear my cache before doing this today, so I'm not sure how it would know that. And um, it also picks a lot of places I've never seen, so that's kind of cool because it could introduce you to a new source that you've never seen before. Now, the obvious downside to drum up is that if you do not monitor it, if you take it a little bit too seriously and let it run on its own, you could potentially post some very strange things to your social media feeds. And, um, you know, that could be anywhere from just weird to um, very damaging, depending. So I would never use this for any of my clients because it's just too unpredictable. And that's all I would need is for it to post something really crazy to one of my client accounts. Um, I don't actually think I'd use it for mine either, to be quite honest. I tried, I tried it for a little bit. I do like it for the fact, like I said, that it goes out and looks for new things. But we're going to show you a little bit more about that. So anyway, I keep saying that. Let's just dive in. So um, here we are at DrumUp, and it's drumup.io. And what you do is you attach your accounts. Now, Twitter was the first one I did. And then um, I read and found that I could do Facebook pages. Now, it's very interesting that it will not post to your personal Facebook. So it does have some boundaries. But it will post to your pages and you can pick each page and set the parameters for each one. So I put um, the fandom biz on here and then my Twitter account. And you connect them in the usual way. It asks you to log in, give permissions and all that. Now, here's the really important part is the settings button. So this is for my Twitter account. Right now I have a scheduled post on and this is the most important part of this whole thing. You have to pick keywords that pertain to your account. So keywords, look, I switched to my handy. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Sorry, let me fix that. I wanted to switch to my handy dandy uh, highlighter. There we go. So um, keywords, again, um, extremely important. And that's why it's got a nice big asterisk next, next to it. It's the one thing you have to do is put in some words that tells DrumUp um, what it is you're interested in. Now, everything lives or dies with this because in it, there are options that work really well and options that don't. So if you plan on using this, you're going to need to do a little bit of playing around to see what works for you. So for my Twitter account, I picked the three things I talk about most, television, writing, and social media. Um, not actually sure if it'll let me type. Well, let me type while I'm in this mode. You know what? Let me get rid of this mode here. Um, so television, social media, and I'm going to try adding the word TV by itself. Um, 
because not everybody writes the word television. You can pick how many posts per day you want to do. You don't want to go crazy. You have up to five that you can do. I picked three that was sort of halfway around. Um, you want to pick your country and your time zone. Now why the time zone is important is because this tells DrumUp the hours that um, to send things out. So for my example, I'm in Pacific time, so it's not going to send things out at 3 o'clock in the morning. It's going to send them out during normal, you know, considered normal tweeting hours if you live on the West Coast. Um, so you want to keep that in mind. Again, if you are tweeting on behalf of people, you know, and you want to pick up other parts of the country, you have to do that. Now, the next really important part is negative keywords, and you'll see I don't have any in here. Um, we're going to talk about that more later. So I'm going to say save, and it's going to go out and fetch relevant stories for me. And let's see what it comes up with. So um, what I noticed right away was that when I added the word social media, which I didn't have originally, that really took up so many of the posts. I, there's just so much being written, I guess, about social media, which is crazy because there's an awful lot being written about television too. So I suspect it has to do with the fact that the sources that DrumUp tends to look at are more business oriented. So right off the bat, we have um, U.S. adults watch five and three and a half minutes of video every day from IT Wire. Uh, that is of no interest to me. I don't think it's a Thing I want to talk about on my Twitter and so I'm going to delete that one. I have that option of deleting it. Next, 10 tactics for launching a product using social media. That actually sounds pretty cool and it comes from Harvard Business which is great. You can see it's reading their feed and I can click on this to open it in a new window. Let's see if I jump over there. Um, I have to go through here and we've got this article. Um, it's a brand new article, that's great. Um, April 16th, I prefer to only tweet things that have only come out in the last few days. Um, occasionally there's a really old article that works, but particularly when I'm talking about social media, you know, it's really important that it be a new piece. Uh, so this is actually kind of interesting. It's a nice article about um, product launches. So. We are going to come back here. So I'm going to keep that one. It's, this is going to post tomorrow at 1 in the afternoon. I can also edit it to add whatever uh, I want to say, if I want to change the title, or if I want to add my own comments. I can do that and then save that. Uh, next, I have Swamp People, Filmmakers in Labor Dispute with Writers Union. And this is a good example of where it seems to me, again, that we're not pulling from general uh, entertainment source, uh, People Magazine, TV Guide, you know, TV websites, whatever. It's obviously, because uh, this is coming from NOLA, it's definitely, again, more business oriented. Um, I don't know if that's happening, again, because of my choice of words or what. But that doesn't interest me. I'm going to delete that one as well. Predictions for the future of social media. Interesting. Uh, because the visual seems to be about television, but the title is about social media. So I'm not really sure what that is. Um, I think we will take get that one off there as well. And then this one's really out of left field, new to science blogging. Uh, it's about how to blog for science bloggers. Uh, really very specific and strange. Again, not something I want to use. Think before you post. Here's a new federal workforce guideline on social media. Now, what's interesting about this is I actually did use this piece for a client this week. It's a really good article about um, workforce federal workforce guidelines. And I don't know, again, did it pick it up because I was on this page? I don't know. I certainly wasn't on the science blog page. But that's a really good story, very interesting, um, because I did use it for a client. I'm going to get rid of it here. Should patients be able to find organ, o organ donors on Facebook? Definitely don't want that. Is Netflix more popular than TV? Interesting. Uh, CBS News. Finally, TV meteorologists on board with climate change. Again, science blogs. I don't know why I'm getting all this science stuff. Um, no. And it goes on and on, and I don't even know how long it goes on for. It looks like it'll go on for quite a while. Um, I did forget to point out one other thing. It only schedules the 
in my case, the three posts, because I asked for three posts. After that, you have to actually push the schedule button. So we'll, we'll pick this Netflix. And it automatically put it in another uh, good time slot for me. If you don't post, if you don't hit the schedule button or delete button, these all will just stay here, I would assume, until you either change your keywords or do something different. So I'm happy with what I got for social media. I'm not happy for what I got for television or even with the word TV because it's really not picking up. It's really only picking up business version of television. So if I'm in, if I want to talk about the business side of the industry, we're all good. Now that's what leads me to the next issue. I also put in, as I said, my Facebook page for the fandom biz. Now for this, let's go over to my keywords. I tried a couple things. Um, I also turned the schedule off so you can play around with it and without knowing, without it going um, in. I should also tell you that before it does post, it will send you an email to tell you that there are posts upcoming. But you know, if you're busy and you miss the timing on that, again, things could post that you don't want to post. You can pause using this button here. You can pause it so it doesn't do anything, or you can just turn off the scheduling so it will add posts, but it won't schedule any of them. You'll have to do that by hand. So here we are on my fandom biz, and I've got the words fandom, uh, supernatural TV, because I want the TV show, Supernatural, and the word fan. Um, three posts per day, United States, Pacific Eight. Now, I use negative keywords to tell it that I don't want certain types of fan stories. So the most common when you say fan is you're going to get a sports fan. So I told it I don't want baseball, football, soccer, and I don't want home fans because um, it was giving me fans like the kind you put in your ceiling. Uh, and I told it, okay, save. And then it gave me posts. Now, despite the fact that I told it not to give me baseball or some other sports, um, it did. So um, that's a sports story. That's a sports story. In its defense, I don't think I took the word basketball out. I did take the word soccer out, but it gave me a soccer story. Um, the Dyson Bladeless Fan. Yankees fan loves getting punched in the face. Kanye West signs a fan's Yeezy Boosts. Oh, I don't even want to know. Um, and it goes on and on. Sports, 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 sports. Pretty much, I think that was a video game I just passed. Sports. Hillary Clinton got in there. Restaurant inspections got in there. This is a mess. This is a mess. And this is roasted cauliflower. Probably because the author says something like, I'm a fan um, of that. So let's see what happens if we can make some changes on the fly. Let's go back in here to settings. Let's take out the word fan. And let's put in the word TV. Um, home obviously didn't help us. Let's also take out uh, basketball and sports in general. Let's try that. Save. Hang on, we're fetching relevant stories for you. Da, 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 da. Oh, now we're closing in. Hey, look, we're doing pretty good now. So I don't know if it's because I put the word sports in or just because I got rid of the word fan. I got fan domination, uh, which is perfect. As you can see, I've got Dean Winchester here. Um, this is actually really good um, to the point where I want to go over and look at it. Look, I actually got excited about this piece. Wait, let me go see. Oh, and it is. It's brand new. Uh, it's about fandom. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, and here I was about to say that Drum Up was not good for things like this. So um, let's schedule this one. So this is supposed to post to my Fandom Biz Facebook page uh, tomorrow at 8 a.m. all by its little lonesome. So now that I've turned things on, um, so here again is that Netflix more popular than TV because I had that TV and here's that other TV one. This is not appropriate for my page. Um, X Factor. Yeah. Now, at least this is from TV by the numbers. So uh, again, finally we're getting to blogs that are a little bit more entertainment oriented. Um, yeah, not really. New Apple TV may debut this June, not for this. Uh, I'm just going to skim here because I'm not really seeing anything else. I like growing community of furries finds acceptance on campus. That may sound like it isn't appropriate, but it actually really is. And I have to give them real credit for that one because uh, furries is a 
very uh, specific niche fandom and I'm actually gonna schedule that one as well so um, it didn't do too bad I'm gonna take out this one I'm gonna take out above it and I wanted to see what happened when I did that it looks like when I remove some it gives me more options and so now I have again oh, that meteorologist they really like talking about these meteorologists are not doing that um, sick of 90s reboots here's why they're not as bad as you think and I like that now that again is not specifically it's a, you know television kind of fun we'll put that one in and NBC is doing Wizard of Oz inspired series serenading Betty White Bruce Jenner Oh my gosh, Duck Commander musical. Oh, that, that one starts to get a little bit interesting. Uh, Amazon makes season one of Orphan Black available. I know I'm totally boring you, but now I've got I've got hooked in here. And this is exactly what they're hoping for, that you'll start to go through and you'll start to see things and go, oh, that's interesting, that's interesting. And not only did I find things I wanted to share, but I found things that I wanted to go out and look at, um, which is pretty cool. So that is is drum up oh two more pieces you can add a custom post so like while you're in here doing your cleanup you can write whatever you want to write you know say hi come over see my blog you know hope you love me say hi whatever and add that to the schedule it'll schedule that at a regular time and um, settings we looked at and then you can look at previous posts uh, which I don't have because I didn't do anything um, but that's where the ones that have already posted will show up so um, you can see it now I haven't used this for any great length of time so I'm going to assume that it's pretty good at not duplicating because it does seem to be picking articles that are fairly new so let's sum up the the best things about drum up in the sum up is it's a great way of finding new content that you may not have found on your own it's a fast way of finding content if you just feel like you need to pad out your Twitter or Facebook with some posts during the day and it picks things that are relatively new and if you play around with the keywords you can get some valid uh, posts some relevant posts the downside is if you're not careful with your keywords and even when you are as you saw you could end up posting some really odd things to um, your social media accounts and it's not completely automatic because you do have to come in I'm gonna say you have to come in on a daily basis to schedule but that may not be true because again I haven't like I said I haven't checked what happens because I turned it off I don't know what happens if you schedule a couple and you don't schedule anything else I'm assuming the next day it will schedule anything that you did not delete so you still have to come in here on a regular basis and delete things you don't like um, it does not learn to my knowledge either it only adjusts based on your keywords so basically you have to learn how to talk to it not that so definitely a lot of really cool things here about drum up you might want to try it I would not try it on any account that you're particularly um, vol that's volatile that you're really concerned if something weird shows up but you might want to test it on your own personal accounts play with some keywords and see what you can come up with if you are an artist or creative the kind of people I deal with a lot a startup company you know it's really good to keep your Facebook and Twitter pages looking active even if you can't get in there every day because I know it's time-consuming I know it's hard social media sounds like it's going to be really quick and easy but it's not um, so this is a great way to kind of just keep your posts keep your accounts looking alive just don't put more than three a day from drum up and don't forget to go to your accounts the other downside of using a tool like these is you can get used to not visiting your actual accounts because you do everything remotely and that means you're not seeing replies from people you're not finding new followers you're not communicating which is what social media is really about you need to communicate with people not just um, push stuff at them so that's it if you've tried drum up let me know what you think if you haven't tried drum up let me know what you think if you think this is a tool that you would actually use um, that's it for me today come back follow support all those things hit the subscribe button uh, for more online tools that you can use to help stay creative and do your business 
that sounds awful, that you can be creative and get your business growing faster. See you later.